What's up everyone, today I am going to show you how to download uh, and install and set up a spigot server. Um, what you first need to do is open up this link, uh, all the links will be provided in the description. Um, from here you go to the latest stable version, you can go to any of the others but uh, uh, I suggest going for the la latest uh, stable version. And then you should just download the build tools.jar. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. Okay, once you've downloaded your um, build tools.jar, um, you will need to uh, have a folder. I already created my folder uh, to put it in. Uh, make sure that you don't have any spaces in. Uh, in this line here because that can sometimes mess up the servers and uh, make it not run or whatnot uh, mostly or most of the times um, it's fine if you have a space but personally I've had problems with that so don't uh, use spacers um, but anyways um, what you first need to do uh, is to create a bat uh, document I guess I will just create a new one here initial so yeah I don't know how to type it but whatever dot bat yeah and then you edit it and then you basically paste this thing in. Um, this line here and this line here must be here. These quote unquote is for my specific version of Java. The reason I use this instead of just typing Java because you can just type Java is because um, uh, I've had problems with that and then this is a good way to go. Um, the way you go about that is just find your Java location, uh, like mine is here. You copy this line right here, you paste it in right uh, over this, uh, and you save it. Uh, this is how much uh, RAM your Max can give it, and this is the minimum it will use, or something like that. Uh, I have 32 gigs of RAM, so uh, a regular Minecraft server don't really need much unless you have a lot of people on them or a lot of plugins. But for uh, for gigs of RAM, usually it does the uh, trick, I guess. Uh, and once you've done that, you just open the back file and um, okay. Uh, once all of this is done. Um, you will need to create another text document or just edit the one you have. Yeah, I'm just going to start the or call it story.bat. You can just edit the one you already have. It will be pretty similar, I guess. Um, it's basically the same thing, uh, except you edit this part from. Uh, uh, build tools .jar to spigot .jar. That's actually the only difference. Um, you can use the other one or create a new one. Ah, yeah. I forgot. Um, it need to have the same name as this file. I don't like to use the version name because it just makes them unnecessary longer. And now you will have a failed because the you have to agree to this thing. Then you need to edit it. Just type true, save it, and then you will open it again. Turn whatever off. Uh, you see here the server is up and running. And uh, how you connect to it is just type uh, local. Oh shit! I can type uh, local host. And the server name doesn't really matter, so you can type in whatever you want there. Uh, it doesn't matter at all. Um, 
and as you see over on the console you can see that I am joining here with my name and everything everything is loading in it's working I don't know okay I have permissions to do stuff but I don't think I can do uh, no but how to do that is just op and your name there we go and now you see I made an operator oh cool just C doesn't work anymore you have to type create it uh, anyways I'm used to all the versions but anyways uh, that's how you basically set up a server okay so uh, I am going to show you uh, you can start the server now uh, everything should be stopped um, and I want to show you how to do, like download and add a few plugins I guess uh, you see there's here a little folder called plugins that's where you put everything I'm going to download like a few of those I like like world edit uh, and everything I'm going to do a separate tutorial on everything uh, uh, like later like how to set up everything how to use the different ones uh, once I do a tutorial on every one of these like uh, the link will be provided for once I use them uh, all you do is just take them and drag them over there fix it out but essentials needs to uh, be unzipped or taken out of the folder or wherever you want to do I guess and then you can just delete the zip file and now let's see if uh, it will start back up again or if I like I'm missing anything or whatever okay as you can see now uh, it says here done it took 16 seconds uh, all of the rest like that comes after I don't really bother about uh, but anyways now we can try to log on again And everything should be as normal here, but if you press slash PL, I guess, there you go. You see uh, every plugin that is loaded. And uh, if it's green, it means it's working. If it's red, it means it's not working. And if it's not showing up, you've fucked up somehow, I guess. Uh, but it looks like everything should be here. So we can do like slash wand. Uh, we should get this one and let's just for shows I guess hey it's working so that's it for um, for this episode I guess mm -mm.